because they understand that at least 75% of them. So, but this is the kind of study that we're going to get back, and you've got it for you know numerous different items. Uh, if you want to talk to a, a hotel or a medical facility or a restaurant, you know, here's a, here's a restaurant property. This is 972,000. 2006, their depreciation was 84,000. We brought it to 293, difference of 209,000, saving 75,000 that year, and another $13,000 over the next couple of years. So, anyway, that's pretty much uh, what it is. Uh, it's a simplistic process. Uh, within two and a half days, you'll have the information on your on your study. You'll know what the savings are going to be. As I said, it's going to be conservative. Uh, we almost always, almost you know, invariably we're going to wind up with extra money in his pocket than what we show him, which is uh, good for him. Uh, I, I sometimes worry because it leaves a little bit of money on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But anyway, now let's, go, let's go through some questions then. What is BIQ? Uh, it's a name that Jim came up with, build, Building Investment Quotient. Oh. But we have one, to, to give you an idea, I explained the one about the CPAs, when the CPA uses it, he's, he's got the engagement letter. He signs off. It's a done deal, and you get your commission. Right. The, we also have one for realtors. A real estate agent can use this to show a guy, say, well, okay, uh, you're going to have a, a, a tight budget to go ahead and try to pay this building off. Let's see what we'll do if we do a cost segregation study. And all of a sudden, he sees over the first five years of buying this property, he's got an extra 100, maybe 150, 200,000, depending on the size of the building, that's going to be coming back for the, the cash flow to help pay for this building. Uh, that's just a referral source. So you want to get and go realtors because this will help them sell properties. Number three, you've got bankers. Bankers not only can use their own buildings, but every single one of their commercial loans can benefit from this. And guess what? When a guy gets an extra 100000 or he doesn't have to reach into his pocket to pay $100,000 in taxes, that money stays in the bank. It means deposits to the banker. So they will go ahead and refer clients to you also. And they, can, they have a different ratios, loan to value and, and, and things like this that they'll understand better than you will. But those are three different BIQs that we have, two for referral, one to actually sell, that you can utilize to enhance your business and develop relationships with, with bankers and real estate agents and CPAs that will enhance their relationships with their clients also. All righty, Tony, next question. How are the commissions protected? That's uh, the question here. Well, every study that comes in uh, comes in through your own uh, site, and it's got your name and uh, ID on it. And uh, once that study's in, it's a done deal. I mean, okay. I I'm not sure if that answers the question. I'm not sure what you're saying about protected, but everything's locked in. You could be a project number, and you're going to be allocated uh, that project number is going to be allocated to the particular salesman, and when that deal comes in, the commissions go out. It's, it's, just, it's very simple. I, you know, and, and just to follow up on that, I mean, if you submit the pre-qualification on it, I mean, that's your deal. I mean, uh, right. you know, we're not going to, this is not going to be an auction network. So uh, the key is to get out there and be the first one to submit that pre-qualification, and that's your deal. Okay, next question. Uh, many auto dealership buildings are older than 1986. Uh, is there anything you can do to help them? Not really. Nope. The criteria, first criteria has got to be, well, the building could be older. It depends on when they were purchased. Okay. 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 It's purchased or built after 1986, January 1st, 87 or after. Like okay. I, I'm doing an attorney building. It's a hundred and, it's a, just about a hundred years old, but he bought the building at a song because it was in a changing neighborhood. I got it for about 160,000, but he put 260 in it, and now it's a beautiful office building with wood floors and all sorts of fancy stuff. And we're going to save him. Well, he he bought that one another. We're going to save him. I think about seventy thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. What's the quick sales pitch, and who will help once we get an appointment? Well, I mean, you want to go through your material. You'll be capable of going through it. Uh, as a matter of fact, we, we are probably going to go ahead and put uh, one online to help you all out. But I'm here. You're going to be, uh, you know, you're the manager. We've got Bob Hunter. We've got a number of different people. You've got the CPAs. You've got the, the, the staff at CSSI. All these guys here are, are promoting one thing, helping you guys sell. The more you guys do, the better it is for the company, the better it is for everybody. Uh, as far as the 
like I said, that it's an elevator pitch type to open it up. You know, I, I'm always saying, well, what do you guys do? And they say, well, how about you? What do you do? I work with depreciation. I save people tax dollars. Why? Do you, do you own a building? Well, yeah. Well, basically what I do is we bring our engineers in. We recalculate the, the building's depreciation. We basically take it apart, and we save anywhere from 70 to 100 grand for every million dollars of property value. What do you think your building's worth? Well, it's about two million. Well, we probably got 150 thousand. Would you like me to to do a, a, a no cost, uh, no obligation feasibility study? I'll tell you exactly what we can save and what it'll cost. And if you like it, great. If you don't, you don't. And when you you know, if I give them that, if you like it, great. If you don't, you don't. They feel like there's no pressure, and there isn't any pressure. All I want to do is get that 70, 100, 200 thousand, whatever it is, in their face, and then it's pretty hard for them to say no. All right, Tony, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take back the presenter here because we've got quite a few uh, commission questions, and right. um, I'm going to go ahead and take that back uh, from you real quick, and I'm going to go over the commissions real quick, and then we'll uh, um, wrap it up with some final questions and call it an evening. All right, well, just like uh, the uh, commercial loan modification, basically the – and I've just kind of quoted some, some facts here. As a general rule, I mean, obviously this isn't set in stone, but uh, the typical recovery amount is roughly $80,000 per million dollars of property value. Uh, the service fee to the client is 4 to 10% per recovery amount. And um, now, let, me, let me jump in there for a quick second. Sure, go ahead. When you guys are out there, we never, ever talk percentages as pricing. Okay? Just to give you a little history, when this first started, years, you know, around the turn of the century when the big guys were doing it, some people were out there taking a percentage of the savings, and therefore there was a, a big conflict of interest. Obviously, they try to inflate the savings because they'd make more money. The IRS shut that down fast. So we never, ever want to relate to a percentage of the savings as our pricing structure. Now, what this is is an example of where it falls. But that's not how, how it's decided. It's on the type of building, the size of the building, the time and effort of the engineers, accounts, et cetera, okay? Okay, great. I appreciate you clarifying that, Tony. So uh, um, basically, uh, you take whatever the uh, feasibility study comes back at as being the service fee. We take that service fee, and uh, we're paying out 15%. So in this example, we have a $50,000 service fee. Uh, 15% is would be $7,500, and then here's the payouts right here, and it goes seven levels deep. Uh, the person that makes the sale gets 83.5%. Uh, 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 their sponsor gets 10 and so on. You can see it here on the screen. Uh, the commissions paid out are, are uh, similar to the commercial loan modification, um, but once again, whatever the service fee comes back on the feasibility study, uh, we're, you know the company is actually uh, paying out 15%, and you as the person that made the sale, you're going to get 83.5% of that. Uh, your sponsor get 10%, 5%, half a percent, and a quarter percent. So just want to spell that out for everybody. And I'm actually going to have this uh, commission calculator in the back office uh, this evening after I load up the, the webinar. So uh, by morning, this will all be in there. Hopefully, this will answer all of the uh, commission questions. So let me jump back on in here to the questions. Um, all of these, okay, uh, it says, how long does it take to be paid? What determines how much we are paid and how how it only costs owners? Okay, basically, I think we just covered that. Um, step one is we take the prequalification, collecting all the information. Uh, once again, CSSI does the feasibility study. They also put together the pro proposal that comes back with the cost to the, uh, to the client. And then, once again, we plug in the cost to the client in here. And then your, uh, the, the gross commission off of that is 15%, and that's what calculates your commission. 